Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this paint blob that I done in colour pencil. This painting blob drawn was inspired by CJ Henry. She's a hyper realist that also uses colour pencils. She's known for doing designer bags and other designer products, eh, but sometimes she does painting blobs, neon signs, shoes, bags, eh, and notes like pound or dollar notes. So to start off, I am building a base with a blue coloured pencil. I already have this drawing drawn out. It's not too hard to draw it out as long as you get it close. No one can really tell the difference between a almost accurate drawing and a completely perfect drawing when it comes to a paint blob because if you miss one part, no one's going to notice. Which is similar to flowers, which if you miss a petal on a flower, no one's really going to notice. Okay, so now I've went over with dark purple and magenta over the top of the blue. This is just a base layer. I'm going to put a black over the top of it, but then I'm going to put colours over the black again so it doesn't look flat. The paper that I'm using is a smooth heavyweight paper and that also helps get this smooth effect that I'm looking for. Okay, so now I'm using the black and I'm just going right over the top of some of it, not all of it, just to get some of it to show through. Going over the top of magenta now. This pencil that you, you see me using here is a uh, grey and that's just to mute the colours, it's to dull the bright magenta and the purple down. So I thought the magenta at the edges were a bit too bright and a bit rough so I'm going over with a white pencil to blend all them in and to dull them down at the same time. Okay, so starting off on the blob now, I went straight in with the wrong green, uh, but luckily it was okay because that acted as the shadow. You'll see in a minute that I'll use uh, another green, and I'm just over layering that to get the right green that I wanted, and because I put that dark green down first, that's just going to act as a shadow. And now I'm softening it out and I'm just going right into the centre of the blob now. I'm going to use this green as a base layer for the whole thing. You can see that I'm leaving white parts, these are the highlights. I don't just leave them white because they look flat, similar to if I just left the shadows black that would be flat as well, so I'd probably tint the, the highlights later on. I'm doing the shadows now with the dark green that I accidentally used at the beginning. I'm building the shadows up slowly because I don't want to just jump straight to a dark colour, that would leave me a grainy texture that I don't want. I want this to be smooth. In this video I will be using odorless mineral spirit to blend the pencil out but you can burnish it. I, I think it could actually give a, a better look than going the odorless mineral spirit method. You would pretty much just do the same as what I'm doing, building it up, but then pressing hard to blend out your pencil. Okay, so this is odourless mineral spirit. All this is doing is breaking up the pigment in the coloured pencil and blending it out. 
uh, it gets dark because it's on white paper but you'll see as the video goes on it lightens back up. And then I'm just adding shadows on the top part of the drawing, lightly. I'm also going back over the Odorless Mineral Spirit to get it smooth. You do have to wait for the Odorless Mineral Spirit to blend out and dry, or you'll ruin the tooth of the paper, which means you can't get layers on top of that. You can see that the whole drawing has really sharp edges, there's no fuzziness and that's because it's all in focus. You can see the bit at the bottom where I messed up with the dark green at the beginning, that is all blended out and that's because of the odorless mineral spirit that blended it out for me. If I just burnished that, that would still be there and it would be really distracting to the whole drawing. Now I'm going over with a white pencil just to blend out everything and make sure it's really smooth. Also I'm going over older parts that I've already done just to make sure they're all clean and looking how I want it to. For the shadows you could use red instead of purple. Now it's the third layer, I'm going in with a purple because that kind of contrasts with green. And I've also got it in the shadows where I started, so I'm bringing that into the actual blob of paint so it looks like they're together and not separate. If I had just used a, a completely different colour for the shadows, they won't look like they're together and it'll look fake. So say you have a, a person in a dark place with a purple light, you need to put the purple light onto the portrait to make it look like they're in that environment. So this pencil is a dark brown, it's not a black, uh, and I'm just doing that to get the purple even darker, rather than just going straight in with black. When you add colour over the top of black, it actually makes it darker, which helps with the contrast, and the contrast makes things look realer. Gradient. I can't have sharp edges for shadows or highlights because it'll look 
flat. Okay, so nearly finished now. All you need to look for in this drawing is dark shadows, fade that out, and the drawing needs to be sharp. You can't have blurry edges or it's going to look like it's all blended out and it's out of focus and that's not what you want for this drawing. This is the main subject and there's no other subject around it so there's not going to be a blurry background. My drawing isn't accurate, it's close but it's not accurate. Neither is the details, they're almost close, they're close to the area that they're in but they're not 100% accurate. But when you take the photo away no one's really going to notice and that's why I like drawing these sorts of things because even though you spend a long time on it you know that it's going to come out kind of decent or kind of looking okay. Okay so the last thing I have to do is add these little tiny details on the middle of it and just get my shadows dark enough. Okay, so this is how I've done it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!